let's go to the second technique uh, that is comprised of using the um, occlusal uh, registration material uh, with fast settings around the scan bodies. We are going to see how we start adding this material around the scan body. So if we are using uh, scan bodies with an intermediate part that is not compressed uh, in the library, uh, you can cover it with no problems. If you are using scan bodies that uh, use the whole surface uh, for matching, please just uh, set this material around their bases and thicken it around uh, the areas that are between the scan bodies. So uh, when you are using, the, um, try using high scan bodies, this is going to help. And uh, add material, you, uh, as you can see here, the extrusion part is going to give um, different surfaces all over the place. Uh, nothing is going to be the same. And this is why the scanner is going to keep a very good position of its uh, location regarding the, the scan bodies that we impression. You can see this from any angle. We leave the material to set. If you use it in uh, the lower jaw or even in the upper jaw, you have to control the soft tissues around it and also the tongue so that it doesn't get in the way and uh, deform this material. Because uh, at this stage we already saw how to impression the full arch, we are just going to go forward from the point we already uh, took an impression of uh, the of the arch and just uh, add data in HD with the scan bodies, as you previously saw. At this point, because we are using um, a blue material, do remember that if it's not scanning, you probably have the filter active in the lower left side and you've uh, added some blue uh, gloves and these blue gloves actually don't allow the scanner to scan blue. So uh, if you find it difficult to scan, just raise a question, okay, do I have uh, the same color of gloves on my hands that uh, is uh, also used in the uh, material that I used around the scan bodies? So you will see how I am trying to just get the first scan body from any angle and staying in contact with the premolars. I'm not going forward this time. I'm just adding, adding data, uh, but also keeping contact, contact with uh, the teeth on the mesial, as you can see right now. And at this point, I already got the full surface of the first scan body with very good precision. It's completely green. And now I can go forward and get the second one. Uh, and I'm, to get the second one, I'm trying to keep contact with the first one and lot of, lots of content, contact with uh, the material that I've placed here. So by doing this, it's going to be very, very easy to get the precise impression. We are going to try and angle the scanner from every side. Uh, as you can see on the upper left part, you can see how I did it and how, how I held my scanner. So right now uh, we have uh, the whole surface and we can stop. We are going to uh, put the scanner away just in a second. Okay. And right now, we have uh, everything that we needed on the scan body part. So we are going to, uh, to go in the scan body stage. We are going to import the whole maxilla that we just did with everything together. Please hit the optimize button. Don't forget the optimize button. Let's see how it fares. Okay, we are copying the maxilla in the scan body stage. And now that it got in, we are going to go back to the maxilla. 
and cut out uh, the scan bodies as we did before and the material we used in between them. As you can see here, I'm not going to cut too much away. So, in fact, as little as possible. Okay, this is done. We are going to block everything, and now um, you already know how it's going to go forward with uh, impressioning the emergency profiles. Now we are going to see some images from a mandible case, a live case. This is arguably the hardest situation to get. So, as you can see here, I used two uh, different lengths of scan bodies. The first one is very high, and because uh, it's so high, I can easily cover, cover the lower part and engulf it in, um, in material with uh, not thinking too much about losing precision because a very big portion is going to still be outside. But at the second step, uh, scan body that is a little shorter, I only try to touch the mesial, as you can see, to be able to leave outside uh, enough uh, surface so that it can be properly matched. On the other side, I use two long scan bodies. I have them at my disposal. And as you can see, I cover them uh, with material from any angle, but only the bases. You can see the detail everywhere. At this point, I want to go back and point out that on the premolars on the, this side, you are going to see a little strand of material that is not allowed to stay there. So if we are taking the, an impression, we have to take, take, you know, to take great care of not getting material on the surfaces of the adjacent teeth, as you, I did here. So after I got the teeth, I'm going to stop. Uh, stop the filtering so that I can get the blue of the, uh, of the material and also delete uh, this little strand of material and also remove it from that two premolars. Now we are going to complete the missing part before we go forward uh, with the scan bodies. We hit optimize one more time just to be prepared. And we're going to start scanning right away. As you can see, I completed the missing data. And now I'm going forward from every angle to get the scan bodies. You can see in this live case how easy it is to uh, take a good impression. It's going very fast. You know, it's hardly even stopping. Uh, I already have a big part of my scan bodies here. You can get them from every angle because the scanner has sufficient data not to stop when you do this. You can see a little uh, a bit of cloud points that are um, hovering over the scan bodies. But as we are going to stop, uh, the software is going to remove them automatically. And now we are going to go forward on the left side. As you can see, the tissues are a little bloody, but because this material is very dense, uh, that little bit of uh, drops of blood is not going to do anything to uh, hinder our uh, impression and our precision. So you can already see the first scan body is done. And we are going to go forward to the second one. Okay, this one is done as well. Let's just add a little data on the knees here. And right now we have also done the lower jaw. And we're going to stop and uh, see uh, the upper jaw. Okay, so going to let it print after post processing, we'll see how nice this. Uh, Scan bodies got out and how much detail we have here. 
And right now we are going to just see how to separate the scan bodies from uh, the occlusion material we just used. Let's see how. So now after opening the magic design application and uh, importing all the data, you will actually see that we go uh, in the training tool and we're going to use the smart single tooth selection. It's a very good tool for what we intend to do now. And we are just going to click on the scan bodies, add some more and do some more clicking on the parts that don't, don't auto select. The second scan body goes easy as well. And after we have finished this and we have the scan bodies selected, you just invert the selection. And now if we delete everything, we are just going to have the two scan bodies that are going to be exported back into Medic Link. And now this is going to go to your technician. 